continuing his workout mix, and our boy is finally in the building. Ray Rice is here. We're going to oh. chop it up with my man. You know what I'm saying? Wow. We believe in my man. You know what I'm saying? We want wow. the league to get him he back. Went in. You know what I mean? My boy is in here. What up, Ray? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he got a nice sweater on, Ray. Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is, hey, this is Anthony Anderson. What is Ray? <laughs> what up, who, kid? What up, man? I always got to give you love, man. He was the first DJ to ever shout me out on the mixtape, man. Remember me telling you about yeah. that, dog? That's gangsta, sir. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up, baby. That's what's you, up. Yeah, skits and everything on there, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I kind of like went in uh, during those times because uh, I think I had you. I had uh, Kevin Hart. I had all the top. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, what's the name that just had a car accident? Damn, I feel like a dickhead. But Tracy you know, Morgan? Yeah, Tracy. Yeah. It was him. Hello. Tracy. All them was on one CD. Yeah, it was good. So I'm glad uh, you made me like a good 30 G's that month. I appreciate and, uh, it. Can I just I just need 10 percent? <laughs> nah, you ain't with Ray Rice, cool. man. That, you know, why, why, man, I'm on ABC and it's a family show. Come on, let's not get things confused home. now. Wait Yo, a minute. Shut up. I know he'll shade four or five, but stop throwing the motherfucking shade <laughs> my way. <laughs> Larry Fishburne came here. Uh, what was it a month and change ago? Uh -huh. And he, he gave us input on the show before it even blew up. So, right. so I already had a little uh, taste of uh, what he was talking about. Okay, but cool. now I finally saw it Wednesday, and it all made sense of what Larry was talking about. And I never laughed so hard. I appreciate it. And it's uh, basically you're you're actually making fun of the, the whole urban stereotype situation. But at the same time, your family, your family is actually smart. Like It's, it's, it's Nikki. Yeah, yeah, Nikki? Yeah, I'm sorry. Obviously, he, he hasn't seen the show. He's yeah. just telling me that. <laughs> Because we're sitting here, because we're not making fun of the urban it's all, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not. It's, it's cool. You it's cool. It's I, 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 I it's knew. So I know you T-voted, and you had every intent on watching oh, it. You just got a little okay. busy making new mixtapes. I did watch it. I get it. No, I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate it. But but no, you know what what it is? The show, you man, it's 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 just about giving your kids more than what you had growing up. Mm -hmm. You know, living this American dream. And and these these things that you you saw on the show, if you saw the show, uh, was yeah, based on my real. My, my, not only my real life, but my partner in, in, in uh, who created the show, Kenya Barris, his wife is actually Rainbow, actually a real doctor. They have five kids all in private school. He's from Inglewood. I'm from Compton. First oh, wow. generation success. And it's what we are going through raising our kids in America, living this dream, you know, living this, this American dream, trying to give them a better childhood than what we had. And in doing so, you in, in assimilating, and, and there's nothing wrong with that, you lose a little bit of who you are if you're not careful to gain something. Mm. And it, it's just about struggling with, with identity, because in real life, my 12-year-old son came to me and said, Dad, I don't feel black. I like, what do you mean you don't feel black? <laughs> I was like, crazy. look at me. Look at your mama. Look at look at my mama. You you know, we black. He's like, I'm just saying that I don't feel. But I understood where he was coming from as a 12-year-old kid being raised in suburbia, private school. Uh, his only issue is which pair of Jordans he's going to wear and how he, is he going to match them to his Louis knapsack or his <laughs> iPhone case. It's ridiculous, though, You know? Right? So it's 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 just it's just crazy that way because that's different than how I grew up as a twelve year old kid in Compton in the eighties trying to figure out how I'm going to dodge this drive by. Hell yeah, you know what I'm With saying? With a white tee, yeah, and this gang fight. <laughs> yeah, whoa, <laughs> somebody been in the hood. Look, you ain't been in the hood that long. Got a you white been... tee, homie. Yeah, dog. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, if you were a white tee in the hood, you were a target at one Hell point. Yeah. Um. So you know, it was just um. That that's what it was born out of, and at the end of our conversation, my son tells me that he wants to have a bar mitzvah for his thirteenth birthday. A bro mitzvah. Well, that's what I turned it into. I said <laughs> we're going to have a hip hop bro mitzvah, and that's what we did, and that's what you see in the show, and and all the things that we're dealing and I have dealt with and are dealing with the show are authentic stories that have happened in Kenya's life, my life, and that's now crazy. our writers. Yeah. And and this is what we're pulling from. But it's not just unique to us as African Americans. It's unique to everybody across the board, you know, who are living this American dream. The biggest compliment that we've received from our show so far are people who are non black who are first generation American citizen citizens who say, When I look at your family, I see my family up there. Oh wow. That's you know, crazy. and I'm from Beirut. And I was like, oh, wow, you know, and, and, and they, they go on and, 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 and tell us about, you know, their lifestyle. But when they see that, they're like, I, I connect with that. And, and I think that's what the success of the show is going to be. And the, the only reason I brought up the making fun part is where it, 
You have like the you have the white you have the white people saying like this shit. You know what I mean? No, the way you got like the the like all the white people saying like the urban words, like you know the ebonic joints, like swag and right. Oh, I thought oh that's what you meant. That's what I meant. My bad, my bad. But but what? But did you? I heard him wrong. Did you do research on every hip hop word or every word that we use and throw it in a white mouth? No, we had yeah. Who? Who kid? I love you. Why do I have to research? Urban words, motherfucker. What you, hey, hey, did you did you research your blackness, Anthony? You know, did you research your blackness Yo. before you uh, you had them. I love that keeping it real and that swag shit. <laughs> yeah. Those are the top words right there well, in the no. black community. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh my god. So you know what, man? What's interesting? You know, people always ask me to define what blackish is, and by no stretch of the imagination are we are am I or are we trying to define. Uh, uh, what black culture is, but you you look at what other cultures have bor- borrowed from ours and mm. embraced and and included into their culture, our, our style, you know, our swag, our dance, our talk, our music. It doesn't make them black, mm. but it does make them blackish because of the things that they love about us that they've embraced into their own. So you know that that's a definition of what blackish is. Is it safe to say that we are the funnest people to be? Like. We're just straight fun. Every every other race I can is only, boring as fuck. I, I can only speak for myself. Hey. I'm a fun dude. <laughs> I've hung out with who kid? Who kid is a fun motherfucker. We have bitches and all yeah. that, right? Well, holy <laughs> stuff. Pump your brakes. Pump your brakes. There's some family men in this room with you right yeah, now. I'm sorry. Slow man. down. I apologize. Man. Yes. Got big delicious moisture up here, man. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, another thing I see in this in this show is like you you guys are taking risks just like Dave Chappelle, like with, with a lot of the concepts. But, but, but that, that's what it's about, It's kind of risky, right? Yeah, like it's, going I'm, that route. I'm, you look, you know, what we're talking about isn't new to America. Uh, you know, a lot of people say it's very courageous of ABC to have a show like Blackish mm-hmm. on their network. Well, we don't like to say it's courageous. We like to say it's smart because we're not reinventing the wheel. We're not talking about anything that's new. This has been around. This is this is this is how we live. You know, all of us. And, um, you know, I just applaud them for being smart about it and believing in our show and giving us the platform to talk about these things that most people don't talk about. And it's been a while since you've had an African-American family on primetime television. I know. My God. What, you was, know, the, what was the last time? You know, you, you the one I could. Bernie Mac. Wow. Okay. You know, and, and that's been quite some time. And you also look at the era right now. We're in the 30th. Uh, this is the celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Cosby show. You know, and people are comparing us to the Cosby show. And I think it's kind of unfair to us because we're trying to find our own identity. And those are big shoes to feel. Now, I would like to walk along the path that Dr. Cosby, Mm, you know, provided for us and not walk in his footsteps, but walk side by side and and, and see what he done and take our show to those heights. So 30 years from now, people can sit back and talk about this is the 30th anniversary of Blackish. It's about, know, it's about the Johnson family right now. Yeah, there, I mean? there we go. It's about that right now. The college was too soft, Obviously, man. he watched it. He said the Johnsons. He got the last name. Right? Okay, okay, cool. I ain't going and to college, he ain't even, And he ain't even looking at a script. He ain't even looking at a teleprompter. <laughs> he ain't looking at his notes. Okay, my apologies about saying you didn't watch the show, kid. <laughs> Yo, the fact that your, your, your dad is Larry Fishburne is hilarious, Come man. on, man. And Larry is only nine years older than me. <laughs> He started when he was young. <laughs> He's all chilling and shit. He's just fucking reading newspapers, yeah. editing, talking shit. Yeah, man, that's that's that. Look, <laughs> hey, you know, th- you look at the, the three generations uh, uh, of 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 uh, of us on the show: Lawrence, me, and Tracy, and our children. Man, mm. I mean, and we learn and we teach each generation, and and that's what our show's about. We're learning from our children. I'm learning from my children. You know, they're learning from Lawrence. Uh, so it's it, it's it's a great mixture. It's a great blend of what we have. And can you answer this? Like, I'm sure your writers did research. Is black people work well with Jewish people, right? Like, we're like the, that's the coolest race that that hangs together mostly. All my Jewish friends are like cool as fuck. Hey, man, there, there's we have more in common Jewish people and black people than we than we have apart than mm. we don't. We both were persecuted. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We 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 both uh, have uh uh have gone through uh turmoil. As as a culture in this country and in their country, so we have a lot more in common than we do than we don't. Um, I'm not, and that doesn't mean that doesn't make us closer as, as people and friends, but we share a commonality. Mm. You know, um, my son, 
his he he has a bunch of Jewish friends, but that's who he goes to school with. He has mm. also has a lot of uh, black friends and the urban Latino friends and all that. You know, this is the society in which we live, man. It, we're, the world would be such a better place if we could all just get along. Well, I love everyone, but I don't feel like I fit, I'm fitting in here. No, Why aren't you fitting not. in? You're the only woman here. Why wouldn't you fit in? All right, fine. It's like a threesome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's exactly what it's well, like. Well, that's not, it's like a, mm, I don't know what kind of threesomes <laughs> you're into. Uh, who, kid? Oh, um, no, we don't want to know what he's into. Oh, yeah, well, he's I leave mean, that over there on that yeah, side of the room. Yeah, wow. I'll Remember, uh, AB. I'll stay on top. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. <laughs> but another another place where, you know, black and Jews are always together is in court. You know what I'm saying? Like, we always got a, a cool Jewish lawyer, right? What? Wow. <laughs> Let's get out of that. What's your belief, Shane 4 5? Uh, wow. we're, we're being blackish right now. Kid, it's really. No, you're being humorous <laughs> right now. Well, that's a new show. That's my show. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Who kid? Yo, we got uh, a lot of fans loved you in Exit Wounds, and only because you hung out with DMX. We're going to do a DMX mix right now. Let's do you, it. Going to have you go on the one and twos and rock it real quick. I'm a rocket, man. You know, and uh, the workout Why mix. Why am I doing that? <laughs> get the shit out of me, man. <laughs> And you also you also won the S, you, you won the SNA award. We'll talk to you about that. We'll come back to the workout mix, man. The SNA award. Uh-huh. What triple A shape four five? Oh, what's the SNA award? I don't think I want to know this. Nigga, wait. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs>